This is a dye-sensitive solar cell, also called DSSC. On your right you can see the cathode and on your left the anode. As you can see we have here modelized the DSSC's function which is charging a smartphone. Let's now go and have a look on the inside of the cell. We are now situated in the anode of our DSSC. As you can see it is made up of a semiconductor titanium dioxide whose formula is TiO2. It is here represented by the grey spheres. The purple spheres you can see represent the dye used in the DSSC. It is injected in the titanium dioxide surface and creates bonds with the titanium atoms as you can see on this picture. The oxygen atoms at the end of the carbonated chain of the dye create a bond with the titanium atoms from the TiO2. Let's now see how a DSSC creates an electrical current. When a photon hits the DSSC, it is absorbed by the dye. The consequences of this is that the electrons from the atoms in the dye are excited by the photon and move to a higher energy level. They have now an increased level of energy and most of them migrate to the titanium dioxide's conduction band, which provides them with a lower energy level. The titanium, as it has electrons on its conduction band, now conducts electricity. The titanium dioxide surface is connected to an external charging circuit and the electrons now follow this circuit generating an electrical current. The circuit can run through a telephone or any other battery contributing to charging it up. We are now back into the cathode. The electrons have completed their journey and have contributed to charging the phone. They are now integrated into the electrolyte, which is the part between the anode and the cathode. This electrolyte is composed of a redox couple, I minus I3 minus. The role of this couple is to regulate the incoming flow of the electron. Indeed, when two electrons leave the anode in order to convert the current when a photon excites them, this is what we have seen at the beginning of this video, there are two atoms which each lack an electron. The electrolyte produces these two electrons by turning three iodide ions into a tri triiodide ion. When the two electrons come back from having charged the phone, therefore passing through the cathode, there is no longer any atom lacking any electrons. Therefore, the opposite reaction occurs and a triiodide combines with two electrons, becoming three iodide ions. This allows the electrolyte to stop these two electrons. This is the end of the explanation on how a DSSC works. We hope you have enjoyed.